Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're here in San Diego, California. The beautiful, great, glorious state of California. This place is awesome. From Yosemite National Park and the Sierra Nevadas to the, the Redwoods in the north to here in San Diego in the south. There's so much to love about this, this state. It is just fantastic. But the thing is, is anywhere you go, there's gonna be things you love, like the carne asada fries here in San Diego, and things you're gonna hate, like the traffic, and pretty much anywhere in California. And so what we're gonna talk about today are the five things that travelers will love and hate about visiting California. And yes, I mentioned traffic, because the first thing you're gonna hate, and this is the thing that locals hate, and the tourists hate, is the traffic. Look, if you're going to be going to the big cities like Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco, Sacramento, these kind of things, traffic is just a way of life, okay? So you have to prepare for that. And the thing is, is just like any big city, you don't drive during rush hour because you will literally get stuck for a couple hours in rush hour in some of these cities. And the thing is, is think about it. If you left at the right time, you could spend two hours driving up Highway 1 or you know, the coastal highway that goes up the coast and be looking at the water and the ocean and having a great drive for two hours. Or you could be sitting in a, in a traffic jam for two hours. And that's what really kind of sucks. So make sure you're planning your driving when you're going to be around California, especially in the more populous areas. Make sure you plan around those times. Otherwise, you're just going to waste time when you are here. And the thing is, it's not just the traffic that people hate. It's also the other drivers that you might not like. Look, driving in California can be an adventure. I mean, driving in the mountains or, or driving in the city, they all have their own adventures. But California drivers come in a mix of I am a speed demon or I'm grandma going slow or I'm a tourist not paying attention. So you really need to pay attention when you are here to the traffic. You know, and you have things like the Coronado Bridge, which has a really small side. You're like, I'm going to fall off the side. <laughs> Look, you really got to pay attention when you drive. And it's not just the other drivers. Also, I've seen a lot of tourists and travelers and locals that are walking around with their phones all the time and they end up walking into traffic. So do make sure you pay attention to the pedestrians as well. Okay, so that's the first thing you're not going to like is the traffic. And I won't go into the parking because that goes along with it. But there is that. And the thing is, you may say, well, then fine. I don't need to have a car. I am going to take public transportation. Well, there's the second thing you're not going to like about California is public transportation. Look, there is public transportation in California, but for a traveler or a tourist, it's not really that helpful. San Diego, this is a perfect example. The trolley line, one of the one of the trolley lines goes right in front of the convention center. It's like, oh, this is great. There's a there's a line right here. Yeah, but it doesn't really go to too many places that you as a tourist would want to go. So it's not super helpful. Oh, but I want to take the cable car in San Francisco. And, and that's one of the quintessential things you have to do in California. Yeah, yes, yes, it is. You should. But you got to realize is you might have to wait because if you get the wrong time. You might have just should have just walked to your destination as opposed to walk, you know, using the streetcars in San Francisco. Oh, and you know, there's a reason why people drive in L.A. versus taking the subway and things like that. So you kind of think about these things like, oh, huh, the public transportation isn't super helpful. No, it's not. That's why you have a lot of driving. But the thing is, it's cool is, you know, California tech is everywhere, all kinds of stuff. You got plenty of Lyft, you got plenty of Ubers, you got, you know, the taxi system, stuff like that. And in some places, the public buses and metros in LA and stuff like that will help you. But it's not something you can really count on all the time. So just have a heads up for that. And if you're looking to get around the state, you know, you could take the, there's trains that go up, up and down the coast. So you can use those in the bigger cities. There's some, you know, local city trains and stuff. You can do that, but just know um, you're probably going to have to drive. And that kind of goes into the third thing you might not like when you are here is the size of this state. Look, California is enormous. I mean, it should be three states itself. You should have, you know, Northern California, Southern California, and the Center Coast. But no, it's just one state. And so when you're looking at such a huge, huge state, you got to realize is maybe on your vacation, you can't hit San Francisco or see the Redwoods and go to San Francisco, then pop into LA, then finish off in San Diego. You're going to be spending so much time in the car because of that distance. And if you want to go inland, because look, the beaches are awesome, but man, going to see the dunes, the mountains and stuff like that, go to Lake Tahoe these kind of things it takes a lot of time so just know this huge state has a lot of stuff to offer but you really should just focus like I'm here doing Southern California now we're gonna come back with a family and we're gonna do Northern California next year and so you have these kind of different things so make sure you realize is California is enormous okay so when you're driving places it will take a while to get there so maybe grab the flight from San Diego to San Francisco versus the train or driving now the fourth thing you're not gonna like when you come here is look California is expensive, 
but I don't know if I'd say it's super expensive. It's just expensive. It's pricey. It's basically the price of tourist destinations anywhere you go in the world. And honestly, the whole state of California is a tourist destination. So if you think of it that way, you're like, oh, that's not more expensive than going to Orlando or, or going to Venice or Rome or Paris. Yeah, I mean, California is not a cheap vacation. I'm not going to say it's cheap, but it's not insane expensive like everyone says, unless you're buying housing, then it is insane expensive. But for as a traveler, you just need to have that mentality that, look, it's going to be pricey when we go here, but you know, you're going to Disneyland, you're going to the San Diego Zoo, you're, you're going to do these things. Well, they do cost money anyway, so just be prepared to pay when you are here in California because it is not a cheap place to go, but it's not insane expensive like everyone makes it sound. The people that talk like that are the people that are buying houses now that, that that's crazy expensive and the thing is there's things you can do to save money you don't necessarily have to stay here downtown in San Diego you stay about 10 minutes out of town you can get a place for 70 80 dollars a night that's actually okay if you're in the center of town of course you're gonna pay more just like anywhere else all right so just remember you know you have beaches you have mountains you have all kinds of great stuff and the prices kind of go along with that so so you do have that now the fifth thing you might not like when you do come to california there are some safety issues you really need to know about when you do come here now the thing is is some of these things will never happen or statistically will never happen to you as a traveler but you should know about it and i'm not going to talk about earthquakes and things like that because that's beyond the scope of a, a tourist kind of thing but there are issues, you know, if you're going to be going to the beach, you really need to pay attention to the riptides, the currents, when you do go to the beach here in California. When the flags are up, make sure you know what that flag means. When they say, get off the beach, you need to get off the beach. Because you might think, oh, it looks fine, but a swell can come up or something like that. So you do need to be careful. Another thing is, if you're going to be going to places like San Francisco, man, downtown San Francisco, you know, in other parts, and not just there, but other parts of the state, they have, I mean, there, there are a lot of people. I mean, it is expensive to live here. So you have people that are living, you know, rough on the streets. There's a lot of homeless people. There's also a lot of people that are, you know, using drugs and stuff like that. And so sometimes in some of the, in the main downtown areas at night, it can be a bit, you know, sketchy. So you probably want to take care that you're not staying out too in certain parts of town and what I would say is wherever you're going just talk to the concierge the front desk hey which part of town should we go to which part of town shouldn't we go to is there any safety areas we shouldn't visit because just like anywhere in the world there's safe parts of the city and there's safe parts of the state and there's not safe parts okay so just have a heads up for that but as a tourist honestly the Sun is gonna be your biggest threat okay and it's not just when you're on the beach if you're going in the mountains of Sierra Nevada you're gonna hike in Yosemite or or going in Death Valley man you got to make sure you're lathering up your sunblock and things like that because that also is a danger for a traveler and one thing I would add on with the safety thing is if you're gonna be traveling with kids or you're traveling on your own you do need to be careful when you're going to the parks and stuff like that because there are you know wild animals that are out there and a lot of people think oh it's a perfect picture I'm gonna Instagram with the seals and stuff like that or the sea lions look the wild animals here they'll get you they'll get you okay so be safe with that and it's more for if you're gonna be traveling here with kids just give them the heads up so they're not like oh it's a sea lion I want to go see it and they you know they can get really hurt so so there is that but the thing is those are five little things that annoy tourists when they come here but the thing is there's so much to love about visiting California so so what are you gonna love well the first thing you're gonna love when you come to California is the iconic California you know those things you've seen in postcards you've seen in movies and TV shows all those things you know the amazing beaches whether they're long sandy beaches or the the rough like La Jolla we have like the rough beach kind of look to it or you know you have the Hollywood sign and the Walk of Fame and stuff like that or when you're you know in San Francisco with the cable cars and, and the Golden Gate Bridge or going to the Yosemite National Park there's so much of, of America that is in California and there's just so much great stuff here that it's like wow this is all the things I saw in the movies, these iconic things that, I, that I've seen. But the thing is, it's not just the iconic, you know, physical things, it's also the people. Yes, you will, you will hear the, the, the valley accent, and you will see the surfer dudes, and you will see the, the granola hippie kind of hugging tree people. You will see that. But the thing is, it's not just that. California's got so much different stuff going on that you see the iconic parts, kind of the stereotype things, but also you see so much other stuff when you are out there. And that's what I love about California. That's not just those stereotypes. You got the iconic stuff and then the 
non-iconic, non-stereotype things that you'll just really enjoy. And yes, the Disneylands and the Knott's Berry Farms and the San Diego Zoo and these kind of things, that is these iconic things, the, the super touristy things you can do here, but you'll get to actually enjoy them as well. So it's not just a tourist trap, it's also cool stuff to see, all right? Now, the second thing you're gonna love when you actually do come here to California is the variety of California. When I say variety, you know, before I talked about how huge this state is, but honestly, it's like three states in one, or if you wanna just do it simple in two, Northern California versus Southern California, you know, they'll have their own rivalries. But the thing is, for a tourist, it's really amazing. Like you can have the beaches and the mountains and the dunes and Death Valley and Joshua Tree National Park. And, and you can have these kind of things. You go to Torrey Pines, you can see that. It's not just golf, okay, there's a park there too. You have all this great stuff you can see. And then you go up to the north and you have San Francisco and you've got, you know, you've got the, the redwood, uh, the coastal redwoods up there. Oh my God, it's just amazing. But the thing is, the variety is in the nature, okay? Cause you have the, the dryer down here and the wetter up north but also along the coast you have the, the coast will vary the the mountainsides and the dunes will vary everywhere you go and so it's really kind of cool and that's why I was saying do different parts on your trips because honestly going to California can be like going to three different states or three different kind of countries when you do come here because it has that variety and the thing is it has variety for all kinds of tourists so if you want to have stuff for kids yes you have Legoland and you have you know, the San Diego Zoo and the Safari Park and, and all kinds of stuff here in San Diego but if you want to go to museums, you have the Museum of Man here, you go to the Getty in LA, um, if you want history, if you want to see you know, architecture, going into San Francisco and seeing the architecture, Lombard Street and seeing the Golden Gate Bridge, I mean, there's just such a variety here that no matter who you are, what age you are, there's stuff for you, all right? And kind of leaning off of that, that variety is also the third thing that I really love about coming here is the variety of food you will have here. And the thing is, is when people talk about California food outside of California, it's always, oh, in and out Burger. Look, yes, in and out Burger is good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna diss in and out Burger, man. That place is good. But what I will say is that you don't have to go to in and out Burger when you are here. Because in California, you have such a kind of a huge amount of mom and pop restaurants. I mean, donuts, just go to a mom, go to a local mom and pop place and get yourself a donut that will blow your mind. But also family restaurants, small restaurants, all kinds of stuff you can have. The, the Mexican restaurants are fantastic here. And when you come, you'll see that kind of California twist on things. Like, for example, you might have a California burrito, which is carne asada, so like steak tips and, and guacamole, sour cream, cheese, and french fries inside the flour tortilla. Dude, it's awesome. Make sure you have that. But you'll see the influence, whether it's here having the, the carne asada fries, which is like that burrito thing without the, the, the flour tortilla, because you know, I don't need that extra carbs. <laughs> you have that. But what's cool is you have a really great craft, um, craft feel where people really develop and it's kind of like a competition who can make the coolest burger who can make the coolest wrap who could do the the neatest fusion kind of food and so you have all these foodie locations throughout the state so when you do go don't i mean i know here in san diego if you walk down gas in, in gasland district there's a, on the fifth there's there's a tgi fridays i'm like why why would you go there? I mean, nothing is TGI Fridays. I mean, I like their wings and stuff, but when you're in California, there's so many family-run options or, or, or you know, entrepreneur startup options for food. You can really eat well, and also you can really drink well. Tons of micro brews or craft breweries. I mean, here in San Diego, there's over 200 of them, and you go throughout the state, you can drink great beer everywhere you go. And so make sure you take advantage of that because you will eat so well when you are here. And yes, yes, you can have the sourdough, <laughs> you know, the sourdough bread in San Francisco, and the, the fish tacos here and all kinds of stuff but man the food in california awesome and then when you're driving out then you can hit in and out burger when you when you kind of miss california okay now the third thing that i really love about coming to california is actually the nature and i know i talked about the size and the variety and stuff like that but i really think it's important to really stress the nature aspect of coming to california because you could go from we're here in san diego on the coast 45 minute drive I can be in the mountains. Another 45 minutes, I can be in sand dunes. You have such a wide variety of nature that no matter what you like, you like to kayak, boom, we got stuff for you. Oh, you like to hike, boom, we have that for you. Oh, you wanna go mountain climb, we have that, boom. Oh, you wanna go skiing, they've got that. Oh, you wanna hit a lake, oh, Tom, you have that. Oh, you wanna hike through the forest and see redwoods that are hundreds and hundreds of years old? Ah, we've got that, sequoias too, oh yeah. Oh, you wanna go to National Park, Yosemite, sequoia. There's all kinds of nature out there. I mean, like I said, there's over 200 state 
parks, there's many national parks here, and you can have a really amazing time. And the thing is, that nature side of it, the people really enjoy the nature too. So they're going out biking, they're going out kayaking. So it's not just you, the tourist, that's trying to learn to surf. It's also the locals are surfing going, dude, get out of the way. But they're also the ones going out there on the hikes and the trails and stuff like that. So it's not just tourists doing it, it's the local as well because you have this really great like just nature vibe when you do come here. And yes, you should go to the beach. And yes, you should check out the Death Valleys. But I will say one thing. When you're dealing with nature anywhere in the world, and here in California it's no different, is make sure you respect the nature where you're going. So if you're in one of the national parks or the state parks or, or around, it says, hey, don't cross this line, don't go over here. Look, it's not worth it for the gram, okay? It's not worth it to get that selfie because you put yourself in danger and also the people that might have to save you, you might put them in danger too. So do respect the nature here, but you will love it, so you'll want to respect it, okay? And to follow along with that nature, and one of the reasons why I'm in loving it here, and the fifth thing that you're going to love about coming to California is the weather. I mean, there's a reason why when I've talked to people around here, they're like, yeah, house is expensive, but it's not too bad. I like my job, but man, it's going to be hard to go someplace that's not got nice weather all year round. Now, San Diego does get cloudy in May and June. Okay, so there's, you know, it's not always perfect. I mean, it sprinkled the first night I was here and the locals were like, oh my God, it's the end of the world. I mean, sprinkled like, it looked like someone went on my glasses and that was it, all right? But <laughs> the thing is, the weather is fantastic here in California. And of course, the farther south you go, the better the weather is. So if you're in the north, obviously it's gonna be a little foggier and rain sometimes and stuff like that. If you're going to the mountains, you do have those things. But honestly, the weather here makes it so you can visit California all year round. I mean, probably, you know, August and July might be a little hot, okay? But you can really go in and enjoy the cities. You can enjoy the nature and you can hit the mountains and all kinds of stuff any time of the year. And that's one of the things that I love about coming here. Anyway, I hope this helped you know a little bit more about California before you come here. It is well worth visiting. If you want to learn more, five things you should eat when you come to San Diego, maybe things you don't do in the U.S., check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions, we hope you have a great time here in California, but I'm not too worried about it. It's, it's a pretty cool place. Bye from San Diego.